Today, we are working legs, more specifically, your quads. If you're ready to build strong legs, then these five best quad exercises are for you. Today, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells and a bench or stable chair. When you're ready, let's get started. For the dumbbell squat, I'm gonna be using dumbbells, but of course, if you would prefer to do them without any weight, go ahead and do that. We're gonna stand a comfortable stance about hip width apart. I like to place my dumbbells up against my shoulders with the ends touching each other. You can also hold them down by your side or even rest them on your quads, whatever works for you. We're gonna stand up nice and tall, abs are tight, Get your dumbbells in place if you're using them. We're gonna squat down. Again, always going as far as is comfortable for you. You don't need to go all the way to the ground. We're gonna do 10 of these. Let's go. We wanna keep our chest up. We wanna keep our knees out so they're not caving inward. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, last one, nice job, let's rest it out, take a deep breath, step side to side, we're going to do that two more times through. You may need to play around with your foot placement to find what feels comfortable for you. Some people like them to be a little bit wider, some want your toes to be pointed out slightly, I happen to like that. but. Figure out what works for you. We're gonna do it again, standing up nice and tall. Abs are tight. Get your dumbbells in place if you're using them. Well, let's take it down. And up, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, last two, one more, nice job, let's rest it out. Remember, hit pause, take a little bit longer break. If you need it, let your heart rate come down. And we're gonna do that one more time through. So finding your comfortable stance. Shoulders are pulled up, abs are tight, dumbbells in place. Let's go. Down, make sure you keep those knees open wide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job and rest it out. For the goblet sumo squat, you'll need one dumbbell. We're gonna stand in a really nice wide stance, toes pointing out. Now, you can hold the dumbbell here, or you can also hold it up here. Whatever feels the most comfortable for you. I'm gonna put mine down here today. Again, standing up, standing nice and wide. Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. We wanna keep our chest up as much as possible. Let's go, take it down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, we're gonna rest that out. Step side to side, hip pause. Take your break. We're not in a hurry here. I want, you, I want you to be strong for when we start all three sets. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna do it again. So you're gonna step wide, toes pointed out, 
Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back, dumbbell in place. Let's go. Make sure we're always keeping those knees nice and wide, so don't let them cave in. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna do that one more time through, but make sure you're ready before you start. So take a deep breath. This is a good time to get a drink. We wanna stay hydrated anyway. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna do it one last time. Stand nice and wide. Feet pointed out slightly, abs are tight, shoulders pulled back, dumbbell in place. Let's go. Out, knees are wide. Two, chest is up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. A nice job and rest it out. For the Bulgarian split squat, you will need a bench, an ottoman, a stable chair, something to place one foot on. Now, when I do this one, I will go out of camera, so I'm gonna stay here for a moment as I talk to you. I very much have a love-hate relationship with the Bulgarian split squat. I hate it because it's hard, and I love it because it works. So for the longest time, I only did these sporadically because I hated them so much. Then I decided, I reminded myself that what we need most are the ones we hate the most. So I started doing this one very consistently every single week for the last several months. And I can say without a doubt, this is the one exercise that has helped me build some more muscle in my legs. Now, I'm not a, I don't have muscular legs. I'll never have big, thick legs. That's not in my genetics. But I still want to keep building muscle. So this is the one, for me at least, that does the trick. So we're going to get started. Today, we are not using any weights. Now, if you've done this one before, feel free to go grab a set of dumbbells or even just one dumbbell. But for me, we are not going to use weights. We're gonna take it nice and slow and controlled. The slower you go, the harder it will be. So if you wanna rep them out, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take them kind of at a medium pace, not super slow, but I'm trying, gonna, not gonna go super fast either. Now you will notice most likely that you're challenging your balance a bit. You're only on one leg with one leg back behind you. So if you feel a little bit wobbly, I may also be a little bit wobbly. That is normal, which is a good thing. We're working on balance and strength at the same time. All right, so we're gonna get into position. One foot is gonna be out a couple of steps in front of you. So if you think you're beside your chair, you're gonna take a couple of steps forward. That's where your, foot is, your front foot is gonna be. Your back leg, you're gonna put up on the back of your chair or bench. So I like the top part of my foot to be on the bench. Now before we get started, you're gonna be a little bit wobbly here. So we wanna think about getting our balance, feeling nice and stable before we even start. Because if you're already wobbly and you start to go down, you're most likely just gonna fall over, all right? So we're gonna stand up tall, our abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. If you had a dumbbell, it could be by your side, I'm not gonna use one. We're gonna go down nice and slow and come right back up. So we're, let's go down. We're gonna do 10 of these, let's go. So we're gonna take it down and bring it up. You're pressing with that front leg. Take it down, pressing up with that front heel. There's two. And three, lots of control here. 
If you get wobbly, get your balance and then go back down again. There's four. Don't worry about staying with me. You'll have time at the end to catch up. There's five. Or you may even be ahead of me. There's six. Seven. I like to go as deep as I can. There's eight. I'm gonna do two more of these. Nine. Last one. And bring it up. There's 10. Now you know we gotta do the other side. So if you need to take a little bit of a break in between legs, go ahead and do that. I often take a break in between legs. So we're gonna get the other leg into position about the same place it was for the other foot. Take your back leg up onto your bench or chair. Get your balance. Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. Lots, lots of control, we're gonna take it down. Let's go, take it down, slow, bring it back up. There's one, down, two, three, four, Here's five and six. Keep going. Seven, eight. We're gonna do two more. Here's nine. Last one. Take it up, nice job. Now that was just our first set. We're gonna do that two more times through. So you're probably already starting to feel it, especially if you've not done these before. Please, hit pause, walk around, let your legs recover, and then come back when you're ready. So drop me a comment and let me know how you're doing with these, what you like, what you don't like, where you're feeling it. Both legs are working, even though one leg is on the bench, it's still working. So you're likely to feel it in your quads, in your hamstring, and in your butt. All right? So when you're ready, let's do it again. One foot back on the bench. Now often I have to do one just to get my foot placement feeling right, and then I'm set. So if you need to wiggle around a little bit, that's okay. When you're ready, abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. Let's go, nice and slow, down and bring it up. There's one. Squeeze your butt at the top. Bring it up, there's two. Three. Four. Now if you have to rest in between, you can't make it all the way to 10, that's okay, take a rest. There's five. And six. Seven. Here's eight. We're gonna do two more of those. I know your legs have gotta be burning because mine are. One more. Nice job. And let's switch sides. But again, please feel free to take a little bit of a break in between legs. These are pretty intense. Hence the my hate relationship with these. All right. So when you're ready, we're gonna do the other leg. So step your opposite leg back behind you. Try to find a nice comfortable stance. Get your balance. Make sure your heart rate has come down a little bit. Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. 
let's go take it down nice and slow bring it up nice and slow there's one and two three and four five you may also find that one leg has more flexibility and you can go deeper than the other one there's six this is my worst side here there's seven and eight two more last one pick it up nice job now let's rest it out again i know those are intense i'm assuming that you feel the same way so walk around hit pause my heart rate always goes up for this one, so I'm just gonna make an assumption yours probably is as well. So I want that heart rate to come down before we do our last set. And I really want you guys to tell me, like, tell me tomorrow, are you sore? How are you feeling? I hope you guys love this one as much as I do. I know it's hate and love, but loving the results we get with this one. All right, we're gonna do it again. So when you're ready, one leg in front opposite leg goes back on your chair or bench standing up tall abs are tight shoulders back let's go last time through here on both sides and take it up there's one and two I can go so much deeper on this one much more flexibility there's four five and six seven There's eight, two more. And last one. Bring it up. Nice job. Now, I think because I go so much deeper on this side, I really feel this one even more in my quads. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a break here. I need a little bit of a break before we do our last set on the second leg. All right, so when you're ready, we're gonna do that one more time. Front leg in position, back leg on your bench or chair. Find your balance. It's okay to stand here for a few seconds. Make sure you're really stable. Think about squeezing your toes into the floor. That really helps. All right, let's take it down. Let's go down and up nice and slow. There's one. And up, there's two. And three. Four, five, there's six, stay with me if you can, there's seven, almost there, eight, two more. 
You can do it. My legs are on fire too. There's a nine. One more. Bring it up. Nice job. And rest it out. For the wall squat, we're gonna get up against the wall. So you'll notice I'm gonna start kind of tall and I'm just gonna wiggle my body down the wall until my legs are somewhat parallel to the floor. Now when they're parallel to the floor, it's going to be harder. So if you've not done this before, you may wanna start up a little bit higher and I'll show you here on the wall. I've got my stopwatch, so I'm going to set the timer and I will call out every 15 seconds so you get an idea of how long you're at the wall squat. I'm gonna do it for a minute, all right? So let's get up against the wall. So I'm gonna start my body against the wall, walking my feet out a couple of feet from the wall. Now, some of you may wanna start right here. Back is pressed against the wall and you're just gonna hold it here. Others, just keep walking your body down the wall until you feel like it's comfortable or not so comfortable. Hands by your side, I'm gonna set the timer. Abs are tight, you're pressing your back and shoulders into the wall. Feet are pressing into the floor. And we're just holding it here. We're not gonna rest our hands on our quads, that's cheating. So we're just gonna have our hands by our side. Oops, that's 15 seconds. Keep it here, make sure you keep breathing. You're gonna notice your legs will probably start shaking. Mine are already starting to shake just a little bit. We're coming to on 30 seconds. Stay here if you can. If you need to come out of it, just wiggle your body up the wall again. Make sure you're breathing, abs are tight. 45 seconds, can you stay with me for 15 more seconds? I know this is tough. Stay with me. Five more seconds. And bring your hands against the wall. Press your body away from the wall. Now we're gonna rest that out. I'm gonna come down here so I can talk. All right, so walk around. I know your quads have got to be on fire. I'm sure they're shaking. So make sure you're walking them out because we're gonna do that two more times. And as you can see, that's pretty intense as well. This is an intense quad workout. All right, so when you're ready, again, no rush. Hit pause, walk around. But when you're ready, come on back. Let's go to the wall, let's do it again. All right. Now decide where you want the placement of your quads. Do you want them here? You wanna walk them down and get parallel to the floor. Do what you can do. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're parallel. All right, I'm gonna start the timer. All right, pressing your shoulders, your back to the wall. Think about a pelvic tilt, so that lower back is hitting the wall. Hands by your side. There's 15 seconds probably notice they're gonna start shaking a little bit sooner than they did on the first set. That's normal, we're getting tired. Stay with me as long as you can. And there's 30 seconds. I'm already shaking pretty crazy here. This has been an intense workout so far and we're not done. There's 40 seconds. Stay with me. 45. Can you do 15 more seconds? There's 50 seconds. You've got this, stay with me. If I can do it, you can do it. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, press off the wall. Oh my goodness. Walk it out. Step side to side. Whew. That was intense. All right, we're gonna do it one more time through. I don't know if I can make it to another whole minute. My legs were shaking really bad that time. So we'll see. I'm gonna stand up and step it out side to side. So I have a little bit better chance of making it a whole minute. But that was pretty intense. 
Drop me another comment. Let me know how intense these one minute holds are for you against the wall. Let me know, are you going 15 seconds, 30 seconds? How's it feeling? That always is helpful for me as I create the next video, knowing where my audience is. All right, we're gonna do that one more time through. It's gonna ha I'm gonna have to give it all I've got to hit the one minute. So stay with me. You're encouraging me as I'm encouraging you. All right, let's get into position. Now, if you need to be a little bit higher this time, that's okay. You might want to be here versus going all the way down to the floor. I may keep mine up just a smidge higher. All right, let's go. I think I'm a little bit higher than parallel, just a smidge. We'll see if this helps any. All right, that's 10 seconds. I'm gonna to try to call out 10 second intervals, 15. This time, there's 20. Keep breathing, pressing your back into the wall. There's 30 seconds. Stay with me. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. It takes everything to make this work. There's 40 seconds. We got this. 45 seconds. 50 seconds, just 10 more seconds. We can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Press against the wall. Good job. And rest it out. All right, last but not least, the L lift. So you can tell I'm warm, I'm sweating. I'm guessing you probably are as well. This has been an intense workout. So we're gonna finish off with the L, seated L lift, hands on the floor to keep your back up as straight as you can. Now you have the option of lifting your legs straight up and down or up and over that imaginary item and back. You get to pick which one to do. Sitting up tall, abs are tight, let's go. I'm doing up and overs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. I know your legs are tired. There's eight. Stay with me if you can. There's nine, one more. And other side, up and over or up and down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, nice job. Shake out your legs. We're gonna do that again. Sitting up tall, abs are tight. Let's go, up and over. Remember, you can always hit pause if you need a longer break. There's two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, let's go to the other side. Up and over or up and down. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Stay with me, you can do it. There's eight, two more. I know you're tired. One more. Nice job, shake out your legs. 
We gotta do that just one more time. We are almost done, so don't give up. Stay with me. Sitting up tall, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, now let's go to the other side. Take it up. There's one. Stay with me, we are almost done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two. One more. Nice job and rest it out. I hope you enjoyed today's leg workout. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that now so that you can continue building muscle and creating the body you love. I'll see you in the next video.